Hmm. So he's basically a bat in his own belfry. Interesting. Hey, what's up, my peoples? Mgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Common Rider Ghost Bat Clock and the DX Billy the Kid Ghost Icon. So here we are, and there they are. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So we'll start with the Bat Clock here. Here we have the Bat Clock. Here we have Ghost with the Billy the Kid Dama She. On the top, you have the combination with the Gun Gun Saber. On the side, you have Ghost here wielding the rifle. On the other side, you have the three modes of the Bat Clock. On the bottom, you have Ghost and the Ode Damashi and the Billy the Kid Damashi and the Bat Clock again. On the back of the box, you have your obligatory product shots. It does this, that, the other, all that stuff. And, of course, Side Pac-Man! And that's it for that packaging. And here is the packaging for the Billy the Kid Ghost icon that you have again. Ghost in the Billy the Kid Damashi. On the back, you have your obligatory product shots, this, that, the other, all that stuff. And Side Pac-Man! again and that's it for the packaging so moving right along here we have the next entry in the ghost gadget series and like i've done with all of these ghost gadget uh entries um since the icon and the gadget basically go hand in hand i figured i would just review them together so there we go so before we get into the back clock itself we'll put this off to the side and we will take a look at the billy the kid ghost icon it's your Standard icon, we know what to expect at this point. Um, I love the uh, like the bronze color on it, though. I think that looks really nice, looks really good. Um, on top here, you have a nice sparkly sticker here. Zero 05, Billy the Kid, there you have the design for the front of the helmets. And, of course, the standard pupil right there. You got your pins on the back, you have the QR code that you can scan with the app if you want to. If you have it, go ahead, free scan on me. Yay. So... There you have that. And of course you push the button on the side, you go from the pupil to number 05, push it again. You have the design for the front of the helmet, push it again, and you have your Omega Drive where he's just going to shoot everything. And back to default. So, there you go. So without further ado, let us bring in our friend here. Ghost Driver! The Ghost Driver! Get down here. And get going. So open it up. Plug it in. Close it up. Sorry, here. Hey, she. using the Billy the Kid Damashi. So right in there you can see the symbol and of course if you look at it from up top in case you forgot what icon is in there you can see it from the top of the belt as well. So there you have that. So now we will go into our Omega Drive. So blink once. The one thing that is funny is that it does it, it it does do the English, so it doesn't say Billy the Kid, it says Biri that like it says it with R's and it rolls it too. Biri the Kid. Yeah. English. Gotta love it. So anyway, we will do our optic orbit tech, so blink four times. Quite nice. Sleep tight, don't let the bed bugs mate. 
So there you go. There you have the uh, Billy the Kid ghost icon. So moving on to the main event. Here we have the bat clock. And yes, as you can see, it's a, it's a little clock. <laughs> kind of cute. Getting close here. Lots of molded details in this thing. Like right here on the face of the clock. Lots of molded details. Even the hands here. The hands are movable. So you can actually set the time to whatever you want. Doesn't affect anything, but still nice that you can move them around. And you do get some silver throughout here. Right there. And lots of molded details here throughout. Very, very nice. Of course, you have this really long handle sticking out the back. So as far as shelf space, it's not very forgiving for shelf space. So it just, yeah. Now you can really do about it. It's just the way it's designed. Um, there you have your on-off switch. You have your speaker right here. This does have electronics in it, which is really cool. Um, this is the first ghost gadget that does have electronics in it. Um, but yeah, pretty neat. So there you have that. And the battery compartment is right here. And uh, yeah, so like I said, you do get some sounds out of this. The on-off switch is right here. Turn it on and you get the activation noise right there. You can push the trigger right here. And there you go. <laughs> so you get that noise. And you can open it up to transform it. Just want to open up. You want to open up this side first. So open this up. Open this side up. And there it is in bat mode. And it looks really weird, but this is screen accurate. This is exactly how it looks on the show. So, hey, you can't complain too much. <laughs> but there it is in bat mode. You can see the bat is just molded in there. Lots of silver on this as well. Um, along with that nice kind of, uh, kind of bronzy color going on there. A little bit of metallic blue in the eyes, which really pops. Again, lots of molded details alongside it. And the wings there. Yeah, nicely done. Got some molded details there. Got some little paint scratches too. I haven't noticed that until now. What, 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 what little, I got little paint scratches. What, 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 what? Uh, but, there you go. There it is in its bat mode. And yes, this actually does fly around, although it doesn't seem like it should be able to at all. But hey, Japan. <laughs> oh, if you, excuse me for one second, somebody's at the door. Be right back. All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. There was somebody at the door. Um, but anyway, um, here he is in bat mode. And yeah, he, he doesn't make any new noises in bat mode if you push the button on the back. Does the same thing. So, yeah. <laughs> there it is in bat mode. Not much to write home about, but there you have it. Now let's get to the fun part, which is putting them into gun mode. So to do that, we're going to close this back up in a little uh, post and clip right there. So you just like it, clip it on. You want to make sure you bring this side down first and then br bring this side over it. That holds everything together. And then to put it into gun mode, actually, let me raise the camera up a little bit so I have some room to operate. And to put it into gun mode, you're just going to take this top section here and slide it forward. So just go... There you go. You had that confirmation noise. And now you have a little pistol right there. And of course the barrels are painted in that nice Bandai silver right there. And you just pull the trigger. You get two separate firing noises, which is nice. Right there. You can rapid fire it. Right there. And you can do a uh, supercharged attack, kind of. <laughs> That's what I'm calling it anyway, a supercharged attack. To do that, you just want to pull it back and then bring it forward again. And you have the clock winding up. And then pull the trigger. Right there. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. I do dig that. And the last thing it can do is it can combine with your gun gun saber. So uh, we will bring this in. Gun gun saber! Gun gun saber! So for the combination you want the gun gun saber in its gun mode. And then you just take the back clock and you just slide it right on. And I don't, you may have missed that right there, so let me do that again. So you can see what's going on a bit more clearly. Oops. Hey, you. 
Don't you hate it when your gun goes off? Is that what you want to answer? But anyway, <laughs> when you slide the back clock in, you want to keep your eyes on the, uh, the barrels right here. When you lock this into place, the barrels actually extend, which is pretty cool. So now you have it in rifle mode, and that's pretty cool. I mean, it definitely adds a good bit of length to the weapon overall, and you have this, this nice side handle now. And it's pretty cool. It it's actually makes for a very nice, formidable-looking weapon, and I do quite like it. And uh, when the barrels extend here, you do get some nice uh, molded details that are also picked out in silver as well as right here. So, very, very cool. And you do get a new firing noise if you pull the trigger. Right there, you only get one new noise. Still pretty cool. Um, the back clock itself doesn't make any new noises. Still makes the same noises. So, there you have that. And now it is time for our Omega attack. So to do that, we'll bring in the Ghost Driver and make eye contact. And pull the trigger. You get the Omega Impact, or as the sword says, Omega Impacto. So, there you go. There is your final attack. And yeah, pretty cool. I like this combination. I think this is my favorite uh, combination right here so far, anyway. I really like the uh, how this all comes together. So, to disengage it, you have this button right here. You just push that down, and it disengages. And how the uh, the barrel extending gimmick works is, you just push this back down. There's a button right here, and when you slide the uh, gun gun saber into it, uh, this bit right here is what pushes the button, and it just makes it pop out. So that's how that works. Hey, hey, stop it! Jeez. <laughs> Things got a hair trigger. Anyway. <laughs> but there you have it. There you have the back clock. There you have the Billy the Kid ghost icon. Um, I do like the back clock. I, I like that it actually does have electronics in it, so it does make noises. So it does have a lot of playability on its own that I do appreciate. So as of now, this is definitely my favorite uh, Ghost Gadget series, uh, Ghost Gadget uh, toy. <laughs> I say Ghost Gadget series. That makes no sense. What's wrong with you, Mgo? Use your brain. <laughs> this is my favorite Ghost uh, Ghost Gadget entry uh, to date. Anyway, of course, we don't know what else is coming down the pipeline, but. Still, very, very cool. I do quite like it. Like I said, it has a lot more playability than the other ghost gadgets that uh, we've gotten so far. And just for some uh, quick comparisons here, here it is with the uh, with the Condor phone and the uh, Cobra K-Tie. So you can see how it, how it kind of scales with everything else. And, you know, for comparison in beast mode here, we can just do this on camera because it's not like the transformation's all that difficult. There we go. There's the Cobra. It still can't stand. <laughs> Let's open this up real quick. Yeah, and transformation's not difficult. So There you go. So we have our three ghost gadgets thus far. So, we have that. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. So, there you go. Like I said, I, I like the back clock. Definitely like it. I, I like the playability it has on its own. Um, so, I dig it. I dig it very much. So, there you have that. Now, I bought this from uh, Hobby Link Japan, HLJ, of course. As always, there are many other sites that specialize in tokusatsu stuff, like CS Toys, Hobby Search, Ami Ami, um, you know, definitely uh, Mandarake, definitely places that you can uh, go to if you want to invest in these toys. Um, of course, there's always like eBay and Amazon, but like I always say, just be wary of their pricing because sometimes their vendors like to, you know, jack up the prices. So, you know, just be wary of that if you plan on shopping there. Um, 
But yeah, very, very cool. And of course, BigBadToysStore.com does have a selection of Kamen Rider toys. It's mostly figure arts at this point. They're really not getting in like the roleplay stuff. They're just kind of specializing in figure arts. But if you have any interest in that, you can always check out the link in the description down below. And you can also check out my Kamen Rider Ghost playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below, so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games. Check out Lori Plan. Follow me on Twitter. All of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Common Writer Ghost Bat Clock and the DX Billy the Kid Ghost Icon. And this is M Ghost saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud. Palm in your face.